Hey guys, now in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a triple display solution for your laptops that is gonna change the way you work. Uh, this, I consider it a command center for your home. Let's go ahead and check it out. So guys, let's take a look at this mobile desktop setup. I kind of refer to it like a command center setup. Now we have seen triple display setups for laptops and we reviewed many of them on the channel. But this is really different because this is not the type of display or triple display that is fixed to your laptop. This is actually a triple display that it's more like a command center where you're just bringing the laptop and adding it to your monitors. And you can see that I have a monitor on this side, a monitor on this side, and then I have my laptop in the center. And more importantly, what you notice is that I have the orientation of this monitor in portrait, this one in landscape. So today we're taking a look at the S6 triple screen display. And this system basically has a docking station-like implementation. And the reason for that is this. Watch what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna move this laptop away, and as I'm moving it away, you'll notice that the monitors stay in place. Most triple displays and most monitor setups that are enhancing laptop experiences are basically connected. There's a bracket that connects to the back of the laptop to keep it in display. Uh, that's not the case with the setup. Now keep in mind that while I have this running right here with the Windows machine, this is gonna work on a Mac, Windows, and it's gonna support other devices like Android devices as well. Let's take a closer look. Now first, let's talk about the specs and I'm pulling back so that you can get a sense of what this command center is gonna look like. Uh, basically what you have here are three monitors, well actually two additional monitors to your laptop. These are 1920 by 1080p monitors. Right? And they have multiple inputs that you're going to be able to see in a second. Right? They do have two onboard speakers, and you're going to be able to have an IPS wide viewing experience. These are 15.6 inch monitors, and they're very portable. They do come with a little suitcase or a little travel bag that you'll be able to put it in if you want to take them with you. Or like I mentioned, you can set this up to be uh, your mobile office setting. And most of us are starting to work, or many of us are working from home nowadays, and may be in... Uh, have limited space in your house to be able to support it. This gives you a lot of flexibility. Now the monitors, and let's go ahead and take a closer look at them. Now what you'll notice from the monitors, and we'll go ahead and pan a little bit so that you can get them both in view, is I have my primary laptop here, and as I'm moving my pointer, you can see it right here, I'm moving it over, and it shows up on this one right here. So this this is a, you know, just a screen that I'm taking a look at. We're gonna go ahead and accept the cookies here. Uh, just looking at cryptocurrency, what the market is doing. And then over here, I'm looking at my desktop and I actually have this mirrored over here because I want the larger display on the side. Now from what you can see here in the system display area, I have one of these is mirrored and the other one is set up in a portrait view versus landscape. Now the cool thing about the setup, as I mentioned, and I'm gonna move some stuff around so you can see what's going on here. I'm gonna move this away so you can see what's happening behind here. You do, you norm, what you have here, what you have here is a stand. So this stand is supporting your monitors. Now the one thing I notice about the stand is that first of all, you don't need to have your laptop connected to it. You can actually remove it. So if I disconnect this and I take my laptop to another room or I take it uh, with me, maybe I'm going into the office, this command center stays in place the way you see it here. And the one thing that I notice about it is that the viewing angle, because of the actual back portion not being connected to the display, is kind of limited to this angle right here. Now you can go further back, but as far as coming forward, this is how far you can go without really seeing that the screens are going to fall on top of you. So this is a good angle. And I can tell you from my viewing angle, from my perspective, this looks really good. I'm going to go ahead and give you a view of my side so you can see what it looks like. All right, guys, so this is my view. And you can see as I go to the right or I go to the left, you can see how nicely uh, that looks. So this is a very comfortable viewing angle. And once again, I can have both of those side screens, both in a portrait mode, or I can mix the, my display as you see here. Uh, it all is going to depend on your laptop and what your laptop is capable of outputting. The one thing that you'll notice here is that I'm connected via USB-C, so I'm getting video out from the USB-C port. You may have a combination of HDMI and USB-C depending on your laptop. Now with this setup, you're going to be able to run videos. You know, it, it's basically a display. Now with this display setup, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect things so you can see what's going on in the back here. We move this one off. I'm going to take this one off. We'll close this for a second. You do have the ability to rotate these, and it does have 
some feedback. It has basically like a, there's a clicking sound that you get when you move these around. And then what you could do is you can actually make these smaller. Now, for example, I can connect this to another laptop. I can connect this to a Mac. And basically, this would be my setup until I bring in the device that I want to see and put it right here in the middle. Now, let me show you what's going on with the monitors. Now, the monitor setup here is pretty straightforward. You notice that it has this docking station. We'll call it this docking clamp, where in the back of your monitor, you can see that right here, basically it slides into position. You notice that this is my left and that is my right, and they're labeled as such. On the bottom here, I'm going to remove the, these cables so you can see what's going on. On the back, you have a real nice looking carbon fiber look, right? So I like that finish right there. And then what you have over here is you have a series of ports. Now those ports are going to be a little bit difficult to see because of the lighting. But basically what you have is a USB-C with a uh, display port, a Type-C, a Type-C2, and then power. Now the reason why you have this power is because if you are, for example, don't have two USB-C ports, you actually have an HDMI and a USB-C, you may have to provide, or not you may, you will have to provide power. HDMI does not provide power. So you'd have an HDMI to USB-C coming into the device, and then you would need to provide power to the monitor, and that's what that power option is right there. Now you do have also a little toggle here. So there's a little uh, toggle area right here that basically what it does is it gives you Again, the ability to go into menu controls, you know, change different settings when it comes to the monitors themselves. But again, super portable. And let me show you how easy you connect this. So all you do is you bring it right here. And then what I'll do is I'll just slide it into position. Get that, make sure it's guiding in. And that's all there is to it. And to rotate it, I'll put my hand right here, rotate it this way. That's done. If I want to rotate this one, now that one's done. So I can set them up. But there's one other configuration. Now check out this other display configuration. So here we have my laptop. And as I pan over, I've now taken and I've put them one on top of the other. Check this out. Isn't this cool? So both of them are right now in landscape mode. And I basically have now have a triple display, but I have a dual display on one side. One is, again, still tracking the market information that I'm looking at, and the second uh, with another portion of my display. But giving you these three displays is another cool option that you can set up uh, for your home office or, as I've been calling it, your command center. Now, for those of you curious about the magic that's happening in the back, check this out. This is what we have going on here. So the same display stand that we saw there, this part right here was back to the monitor of your laptop. I put it down, and then I took the same arm, and it comes with a little extender that you see right there. Put that extension and connected it to one monitor. That is the other monitor that I just rotated it, and now I have a dual display. That is a super cool configuration. Now here's another really cool configuration option. Now what I've done is I've taken both monitors, put them back to back, and each of them is basically now in a portrait mode. So now I'm getting a portrait view, and let's say for example I was having a team meeting and I was having someone on the other side who I wanted them to track what was going on, I can actually now have one monitor supporting them so that they can see it, and then one extended monitor supporting me, plus I have my laptop screen. Now that's cool. Now included with your triple monitor display setup, you do get a nice travel bag, and this is where you'd put your monitor you know, with, with the adapters. You do get an HDMI, USB-C to HDMI connector. You get the extender. This is another part of the extender, right, that allows you to connect to the back of your monitor. And this has that clicky, let me put this next to the mic. You can hear all the positions, you hear that clickiness. That helps you rotate your monitor. And then you have some additional USB-A to USB-C cords. And these cords come in handy, especially when you are connecting this USB-A to HDMI connector. Uh, again, this is going to be going to your laptops that have HDMI. This USB-C gets connected to the monitor, and then these cables come in handy, especially if you need to power the monitor separately, because remember, via HDMI, there's no power. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.